Hello everyone, welcome back to Vegan Explores. I'm Charlotte and I travel the world with my husband Corey. In this video, we are on the hunt for the best vegan food in Belgrade, Serbia. First up is a place called Coco's. Now this place is all vegetarian and vegan and they also have some raw treats here. And they have an English menu, which is very handy for us. They've got like raw cakes, smoothies, Wi-Fi, <laughs> alcoholic drinks, and they've got all day breakfast. This is a smoothie with chocolate and espresso. What have you got? I have gone for a summer juice, watermelon, lime, and mint. I'm sorry, watermelon, lemon, and mint. And this costs around three euros 50 just under. It's very refreshing, very nice. Yum, 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 yum. And that cauliflower steak, <laughs> it looks really inviting. So delicious, look at all those colors. Tucking into this cauliflower steak it is so delicious. Cauliflower is one of my favorite foods. It's so simple, um, it's so hard to get it wrong, um, but this is served on an avocado sauce and a pea puree, and it is very, very delicious. So overall that meal cost us, including our two drinks, just over 20 euros. Um, so I think it was, yeah, for 10 euros each, it was absolutely delicious. One of the best vegan meals we actually had in a very long time, I have to say, like that was just the nicest lunch. Maybe we'll come back here if we can squeeze it in, but we highly recommend it. If you're wanting a nice vegan meal in Belgrade, Coco is the spot. Just down the street where we're staying, across the road from the park, I found a really cool little coffee shop. They have a piano on the wall, and they have full like, vegetarian and vegan options there, so it's pretty good. So we're going to take a walk now into the city and see what else we can find. So we have come to a place called Dumbeer or Dumbur. So it's a superfood bar and it's just near where we're staying. And I have gone for a traditional burek. Um, I say traditional, it's the vegan version uh, with tofu cheese and I think it has potato in there and carrots. It's like a pastry and um, it's usually got like fillings. You can have it with cheese or onion. And there's lots of different variations of it and you can get it from most bakeries here. Also, we have this, which they have called a samosa. This is not a samosa I'm used to, but it's filled with potato, so I'm happy about it. <laughs> and I have gone for a quinoa and carrot soup and we're melting. It's a um, like raw Ferrero Rocher little treat. It's like a typical like pastry kind of um, breakfast food, but I think this is with um, spelt grain, so it's quite hard, like solid. But I think traditionally these are like very flaky and very crispy. Um, this one was made this morning as well, so it's been a little while since it came out of the oven. So my little fry washer isn't too bad, but overall pretty disappointing. I think there was just a language barrier, like she said it was vegan cheese and tofu in the ice, right? But it was carrot and tofu and yeah, it wasn't heated, so it was like a cold slices. And um, yeah, I don't feel from that. Not too bad, but nothing exciting. Time for dinner, we have come to a little yoga fast food bar. It's actually on the back and the front is the bar. Love, yeah. Serbian lager, is it good? Yeah, it's good. Good, good beer. And we've also ordered, of course, for cheese burger and fries. I've got the cauliflower buffalo wings, spicy, and a Chinese stir fry. How's your rice? Is it nice? Rice is nice. Nothing fancy. I mean, it's so vegan fast food. That's what we got. That's what we got. Waiting up for cauliflower as well. <laughs> they good. Okay, so we absolutely loved Coco, so we decided to come back for dinner and try some different dishes. But we have ordered the cauliflower as a side. We got some more dishes. Let's show you. We have gone for a Greek gyros. This is um, their wrap. And I believe it has Satan inside, and we have some sweet potato fries. Nice little dip, and 
We also have a pad thai, which is a very large bowl. I'm sure Charlotte's very happy about that. Um, it's very colorful, looks delicious. Let's get stuck in. The cauliflower is still number one at this restaurant. It is so tasty, it is so well seasoned. The sauce that goes on and around the cauliflower is just delicious. Um, probably second for me was the gyros. Very tasty, very, very delicious. Um, filled with potatoes and sweet potatoes and then lots of other veggies as well. And the pad thai, Charlotte's dish, um, is, it actually tastes really healthy, so I wouldn't put it down. Um, but normally when you go to a Thai restaurant, it's like very like sugary and sweet and probably a little bit more unhealthy, but this tastes like a very healthy version um, and it is tasty. Just not at the level of unhealthy Thai food that we're used to. <laughs> and there we have it. Coco's was our best vegan find in Belgrade, Serbia. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe and follow more of our vegan adventures.